a key. It says Pillow Factory. That's good to know. It's a Pillowtronics t-shirt with a tube on it. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. I feel like this was his final insult. Ouch. Well, that's lovely. Anyway. <coughs> Welcome back to me not dying on recording. Or at least attempting not to. Hey, but other than that, dust. let's go back to uh, playing the weed park. <clears throat> Man. Okay, so... I had a couple of thoughts. Uh, between okay. between um, the last time we were here and now. <clears throat> uh, the first of which is that safe back in the mansion. Yes. The one that needs a fingerprint. Yes. Well, I think it's there's... Get opened at some point. Well, yes, and I think I know where that fingerprint can be obtained. Oh, and dear. how. So let's go back to the mansion. I don't like the way you <laughs> phrased that. What's up? I don't like the way you phrased that. Oh, it's not that much. It's pretty simple, actually. It doesn't involve Doug, though. Aw. You don't gotta take Doug's fingers. <sighs> so, if I recall... Maybe I don't recall. Hmm. I thought there was something here that maybe had a fingerprint on it, but perhaps not. Is it, did you have something in mind? I did. Well, not an object, but oh. but I don't think anything here is gonna gonna um, be what I need. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. What, uh, is there anything under that ledger if you try and just pick the whole thing up? I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Apparently oh. not. Boo, I it's say. It's fine where it is. Well, this is one thing I need to, uh, to do. And I need to find something with his fingerprint on it. Because if I can get the fingerprint kit with the soot I think in the, or the tape at the very least um, if I can get a copy of his fingerprint somehow from something hmm. I can use it on that but I figured there might have been something in his office but apparently I am uh, I am wrong on the wrong track well there was something else um And that was, um, that walking slice of pizza. Yes. If you recall back earlier, when we went into the forest, he was going somewhere. I want to know where he was going. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I? It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. But the first thing. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. <laughs> but I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find <laughs> out. So we'll start with the bear repellent. Alrighty then. And I thought a little bit more, and this is really abstract. But just <laughs> bear with me here. Where you're dangerous. Well, I need a way of tracking where he's going. And assuming that the um, animation will be the same. He stepped in that big puddle of water. Okay. So I need something to put in that big puddle of water that will leave obvious footprints. And I have just the thing. Radioactive yeah. waste. <laughs> and you have a big cup. Yep. That you can fill with radioactive waste. It's now filled to the brim with radioactive waste. Indeed. So let's go... About that. Better not contaminate the water while someone's watching. Womp womp. Better not contaminate the water while someone's watching. He's left. There we go. Ooh, nice. Now to walk out and walk back in, presumably. Hmm. 
Oh, for... You may just have to wait for anyone to walk past, because what was it, that random fuck guy? I did your puzzle game. Or at least I think I did. Damn it. How did I... Did I do this wrong? Am I it's not thinking... It's a puddle full of muddy, radioactive water. Considering it let me do it, I don't think I did it wrong. Well, you at least did something worth doing. <laughs> True. Let's try one more time. Do, 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 and back up. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Ugh, smells awful. That's why it repels bears, I guess. Seems reasonable. <laughs> Government sucks. <laughs> I know a song about that. <laughs> I don't want to keep out. Don't it's a security keypad. I... Eight, eight, four, five. Let's find out if it works. It's a security no keypad. What was it? Five, one, eight, eight, five, five. What was it? Five one eight eight five five. I think so. No, that it was not. Oh, wow. Four five. Ah, do they? Well, that's better than an alarm going off. That's for certain. It's a pizza van. That van ain't creepy at all. Nope. Let's get in the pizza van. That seems like a... Ooh. What? What? That's kind of fun. You didn't park a car like that. <laughs> I imagine you could probably do that. I was awfully calm about this. <coughs> And again, she is an adventure game designer. That is true. It's like, this is par for the course. Hi, pizza. Dolores, are you going to use your mind control ray on us? I, uh... Yes. Out, out, out before you change my mind. Aw. Oh. Boo. Maybe I have to send somebody else down there. Yeah, it seems likely. Hmm. But, if I have a car here... Where is... You're over here. Because there was a truck blocking something over here. I think it was one of those clocks. I think. Where was that truck? Yeah. It's a heavy-duty restraining strap and bolt, and needs a wrench to loosen it. Oh, well, I have a wrench. wrench. Hooray! It's an old discharged battery. I feel like you should have done that before you tried to yank the battery. <laughs> <laughs> like, Perhaps. I, I mean, you know. Perhaps. Just, just saying. Safety last. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. I wonder if I can steal the one out of the pizza truck. Hmm. Let's find out. It's not an unreasonable plan. Hopefully I don't need the bear repellent. I guess maybe if I'm quick. Sounds like a bear to me. 
Um, why did I lose the trail? I think you're I about to get eaten by a bear, that's why. <laughs> Or just get spit out here again. Oh, hey. Oh. The Chris Bunk. Hey, that's for that. There's a. Hi, Agent Reyes. You have, isn't there? Say what? It's a secret to bunker, and you have an office key. Hmm. Who has that? I think she does. I, uh, but that's probably going to be relevant at some point, I'm guessing. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. Oh, I love carrying stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not question, just take. That was fun. Plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shocking. pizza van. Can I not? I can do that. Hmm. This seems like a reasonable idea. Okay. A very adventure game logic of you. I didn't think that was going to actually work, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, if I can't... If your I first can't... idea is the right idea. <laughs> if it's the most ludicrous thing you can think of, then it's the right thing. All right, well, let's go back to the factory. Move that big truck. Yep. See, we know that big truck isn't the internet. Yeah, it's not a big it's truck. A, it's a series of tubes. Big... Yep. Not something you just dump something on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Use battery. Use the wrench on the restraining bolt. Ooh, good call. Pull the lever. Go, truck, go. Long lever. Whoops. Oh. I guess that was the right lever. No, that was the right lever. Ah, you're fine. Just to be safe. <laughs> okay. Hang on, wait a sec. It's my father's Maybe. old pocket watch. Good as new. Like... Oh, uh -huh. hello. Uh -huh. Not leaving Dad's watch behind. I need to find the correct time to set it to. There's a phone number to call for that. Yep, and I forget what it is. Dolores has the manual, so I'll have to go back to her in a second. Hooray! Dolores. Two, four, six, five. I need to go find a phone. Nyeom. There she goes. Oh, I'm back here. Using your phone. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 12.30. That's for Station 1, though. What about 2, 3, and 4? Yes. Let's get back to it. Alright, station one is probably in the front. This seems logical. Uh, Was it 12.30? Yep. It's not 
not how a watch works. Oh, I know. Do I need to call again? Probably. <coughs> um, oh, excuse me. I swear I'm trying not to, to die here. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 12.30. Is there something in the guide, exactly I wonder? What it is. You're going to have to call from each character. Like, I think each character is going to be given a... Uh... different time when they call. Well, one way to find out. I need out. to get into the factory to get my prototype doll back. There's only one way to find out. That's to send everybody to the hotel. Everybody get in here. The phone's free. Hey, Dolores, you gotta move. Episodic. I got a phone to use. <laughs> One side. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time nope. for Station 1 is 12.30. Hmm. You would be wrong. You gotta use a different phone. Mm, no. That can't be. Where else is there a working phone, except in the hotel rooms? That's a good question. Wasn't there one in, uh... We'll go back to the manual. There's gotta be something else. Check into each security box within five minutes of the last box. <coughs> Maybe all of them need to be set to that? Let's try that. Hmm. You know, I think it's saying there's a five minute time limit between each one. Well, I think I got time. I don't think it's been five minutes. Oh, or you need to set this one to 12.35. Aha! Next one is 12.40. And then 45. Yep. There's three over here? Yep. It was actually easier than we were trying to make it. <laughs> get in now? Probably. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The doors are locked, and there's no place for a key. Push the button. Hmm. Button. Nothing happens. It's a door Dortron 3000. Oh. Uh, but it's missing its tube. Oh, of course it's missing its tube. Everything's missing It looks like a tube socket. It's a TX1138 tube, and it looks burned out. You need to go steal that it's a Pillowtronics t-shirt with a tube on it. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. I feel like this was his final insult. I have a weird idea. Uh-oh. No, not Nickel News. I'm in the wrong street. I need B Street. Gonna ask for one. Hi, 
Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. How can I help you? I have to go now. See you soon. Oh, that was brief. Yeah. I'm not wearing it. No. Try giving it a burn now. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Ricky, take a look at my t-shirt. Can you make the tube in the schematic? Interesting. Chuck's design is brilliant. Yes, I can make this tube. Won't be a jiffy. I'm wondering if this is maybe it. What? I, what? <laughs> Here's the PF001 tube, exactly how Chuck designed it. Ta-da! Oh, thank you! Factory 001? Yeah, maybe yep. that's it. I figured there had to be use for that thing. Makes sense. Good guess. And since in the manual it talked about that tube and that's not one we have seen, I figured it's worth a shot. <laughs> Ah, excuse me. So let's go put this tube in. All I got was this incredibly useful t-shirt. It fits perfectly. Ta-da! Ta-da! The doors moved a little, but Son stopped. Of a... They must be stuck. <laughs> um... Does someone have a useful but not otherwise obvious tool that might be of use here? It opened just a little more! So we're just gonna brute force it, eh? It opened just a... Everybody get over <laughs> here. <laughs> this is a fine excuse to get everyone to the factory. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to put the balloon down at some point, buddy. That's what you think. <laughs> Someone could squeeze through now. <gasps> Go faster. Try doing the horn as fast as you can. I think someone could squeeze through now, but I'd better stay out here and help guard the entrance. I better stay out here and help guard the entrance. I think you're gonna have to switch characters and then have to talk. Reset! <coughs> Oops! Excuse me. Crap. Okay, well, I guess I need to send somebody else in. Move. I think someone could squeeze through now. I think I can squeeze through the opening now. In you go. Let's go on. Restart. Reload. Quit. Holy! Oh, you said it, Cloud. <laughs> this can't be. <laughs> it's not possible. What have you done, Uncle Chuck? The madness. Madness. I like, I like it. Okay. What? <laughs> Those look like bouncing wings. Shut up, Ransom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is going on? 
I have no idea what is going on here. This is a pillow factory, Chris. That's what we think. The strange, sad fate of the my pillow guy. <laughs> oh my. Robots. I can't go out there. Those SRO1 robots would kill me. I'll need to find a manual to reprogram the robots without killing us all. Killing us all, you say? Destroy us all? Destroy us all. Destroy us all. Alright. Well, I need a book, so that means I need to go back to the mansion. Probably. Yay! Because that's the only place I know that has a library. Sounds reasonable, and you need the SRO1 manual. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. I see there is a manual on the SR01 security system. It's in section 2.1. Hooray! 1, 2, 3, Immortality? Sounds good to me. I want to look at that book. Check it dust. Seducing alien life forms. <laughs> it's the autobiography of Kirk. <laughs> ah. All right, where are you? message from... Oh, what's from the future? Ah! <laughs> More binary. It's all in binary. AI. <laughs> Think you want to go shelf down or shelf up, maybe? Well, it's in 2-1. <laughs> How to program a droid, eh? What to do in case of droid rebellion? <laughs> These steps sound oddly familiar to me. Programming SR01. Here we go. <laughs> this paragraph here. Oh no. <laughs> Remember the three laws? Yeah, don't do that. Alright, we we'll shut down for me. I have a screenshot of the pertinent information. Okay, good. <laughs> because I'm not remembering <laughs> that crap. Alright, let's see if I can. H56, EU12, and B45. Red, green, blue. Now I can reprogram those guard robots. Oh, I have the book with me. Nice. Boo! Boo, I was say, I, I'm say. Like, I was gonna say, and I've already <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> Well, the, you, the, that's the sign of a true academic. The moment you realize that you have a hard copy, boop, gone. Don't need it. Can I open this door? It's locked, and there's no handle. Oh, wait. There's no keyhole and no handle. Never mind. I'll have a try. Let's do this crap again. That is uh, quite the turbine there. What does it even do? I don't know. What does any of this do? That's what all those guard robots are for. Warning, SR-01 robots in patrol mode. So it was red. Danger, here. danger. SR-01 robots in attack mode. Attack. 
put it back. That jumper board is for an SR-01 robot security no. system. I've read the manual. I should be able to reprogram the robots. I have, the, I have it up. H-5-6. E-1-2. B-4-5. Now I can reprogram those danger. Danger. SR-01 robots in attack mode. Crap. That was B-4-5. Blue and B-4-5. SR-01 robots in maintenance mode. <laughs> it is now safe to enter factory. That should disable the robots. I'm just going to assume it's safe. <laughs> it looks all clear now. Hooray. Hooray! Is there anything over this way before I go on ahead? It doesn't look that way. Alright. It's like just a few more blinking lights. Blinky lights. Why would Uncle Chuck need to make a human looking robot AI? They're snatchers! Yeah. What was Uncle Chuck doing before he died? I know what he wasn't doing picking up specks of dust. Jerk. These computers shouldn't be powered on. What makes you say that? They're computers. The pfft. Oh. That's apt. Interesting. A virus? Uncle Chuck must have been trying to cause damage to something. Clearly. Take one of them discs. I Save can't. It's fake. Save it. No, I can't. It doesn't let me. It's not even highlighting on them. Briefly. Uh, <clears throat> it's locked with a foolproof electronic locking mechanism. I'm sure there will be a way to fool it. Electronic, so it probably doesn't survive being Smolp. 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 Right, that's enough for that. <laughs> it's locked. Calendar, it's locked. I assume, is important. Oh. It won't fit there. Oh. I don't want to close that. No, I want you to go in it. <laughs> Although, yeah, he's got it. No, I want you to go out. No, pick no, I up don't the. Pick. <laughs> God damn it. Damn it. Put the factory exit in your pants. It'll fit. It's an adventure game. Yep. I don't want to close that. I want you to just go in it. <laughs> Yar. Great protection from UVA and UVB. Huh. Very important for pirates. I'm sure that'll come in handy. <laughs> what a great hat. It's a notebook. I don't think this glass has been washed. Bingo. That's the glass I need. I don't understand computers. I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. It does look a little familiar. I wonder what Chalk was monitoring. Looks, Looks like, like I love my cat. cat. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, so I need... Those computers. Well, let's get Dolores in here. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. Hmm. 
text adventure, eh? Go deeper. Damn inception. Vern. Ouch. Those numbers repeating. <sighs> they are. Another reset. Well, there you go. Weird. Hmm. Go ahead and use that computer, see if it tells you anything. Well, I gotta get Reyes out of the way first. Move your Reyes to Reyes! Terminal boot disk. I bet those are on the assembly line. No, because I couldn't highlight anything. Oh, you might have to stop the machine, though. That's just a bunch of disks. The only place I've seen a disk so far in this whole game. Maybe there's one in the safe. Could be. Well, let's take care of that, so... Okay, so... I need... You... To go get more tape. <laughs> more tape! <laughs> and I, this is not the right road. This is A Street, not B Street. Mm -hmm. You're close. You'll be fine. <laughs> Laser disc Shelly makes me laugh every time. Pick up tape. Go easy on the tape. We're almost out. No. It's my tape. I am a government official. I will take as much tape as I want. And he ain't almost out. Lying jerk. All right, back to the factory. Yeah. And now I need, right? I need her because nice, she, she it's, has it's actually just having you the kit. go right to the office. Convenient. All right, you. Give the tape. Whatever. You go in here. And Dolores, give glass. Sure, I'll carry your crap. Hey, it's useful crap. Yeah. But you're whining. Okay, let's. Use the fingerprint kit on the glasses. There's no more fingerprint powder left. Oh. I think I can fix that. Give. That will just make a big mess. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> just throw it at it. Whatever. <laughs> Plenty of powder now. I'll keep it outside of the kit. Thanks. 
All right, and away we go. This game has crafting in it. <laughs> All right, let's open that safe. First, you have to get to that safe. Yep. No, go in the door. Game adventure game characters. It's like, why don't you just follow what I want you to do? <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so... Are they multiplying? What's up? Is what? Seriously, the specks of dust seem to be either coming back or respawning or multiplying or something. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's do what I came here to do. That worked! <laughs> There's something inside. It's a thing. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Think of better pass. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> the only password that's in here is any good is the one for the office computer. <laughs> okay. Secret zeros in this. <laughs> Why do we have CompuServe and Prodigy here? Look, sometimes you need to have multiple connections available in a business environment. <laughs> From two different services? Yes. It's called redundancy, thank you very much. I feel like that that uh that's maybe a little too redundant. <laughs> eh. Cost of doing business. Uh, I guess <coughs> Excuse me. Don't, don't you dare dispute my business acumen. <laughs> I'm good at the business. I'm good at the business. I do the business. The management, I'm all about that. Um, paradigms. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving along. Uh, okay. Now, that still doesn't solve the disc problem. No. Wasn't there another uh, painting? That was it. Yeah. Yeah, it was the same one as in the one in the office. Yes. I have a feeling... That worries me. I have a feeling that uh, I need to get in here. Somebody needs to be able to get down there. Yeah, we just, you just kind of, we, we just kind of forgot about this. Somebody needs to be able to get down here. <coughs> oh, we have to watch this again. Maybe Look ransom can get down here. Look at him. <laughs> Look at those gears. Look at them gears. Somebody spent good minutes animating those gears. <laughs> I mean, I, I look at that and I'm like, that could be something that could either have been done in like 10 minutes hey, or like three you're minutes. you're not welcome here. No feds allowed. No ams grave, pig. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll be back with a warrant. It's the clown. <sighs> it's got to be a ransom. The map from right here. I just want to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're not missing anything. Alright, get in there, clown. Get in the van, clown! <laughs> get in there, clown. Get in there. Wee. And the light catches his hair on. 
I don't think it's that powerful. This is just disturbing now. <laughs> Something very wrong about this. Show them all! Ah. The secret layer. Ransom, welcome to our important meeting. We were waiting for you. And don't forget to take your goodie bag before leaving. Uh, okay. Thanks for coming. Stay vigilant. What is this place? It's our secret bunker. Brett built it so we can finally be safe from the government and their high-frequency mind control waves. They only work above ground. You know, you're crazy, right? You just think that because you've been on the surface too long, dude. If you stay mm, down here out. and let the effects <laughs> of the signals wear off, you'll realize how much sense this all makes. <laughs> or you could wrap your head in tinfoil and protect your brain. You! I ain't ruining my clown pro for some conspiracy nut job. Do you really believe this conspiracy crap? I trust the man my brother. <laughs> Brett is like the smartest guy I know, and he explained everything to me. Like how Mucus Flem secretly makes games that deny us free will, and CDs are a government conspiracy to prevent us from playing songs backwards and picking up their coded messages. Your brother's a blue kid. <laughs> wow. Are you even a pizza guy? It's just a cover, so I can go find new recruits without drawing the eye of the man. It's like Brett always tells me, you got to blend in. Oh, and a giant slice of talking pizza <laughs> totally blends in here in a town that doesn't have a pizza joint, right? Ugh. Exactly. <laughs> Hide in plain sight. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Why a pizza costume? Why not something less conspicuous, like a clown costume? Duh. Like I'd go above ground without protection from the signals, you gomer. It's like my gomer. whole pizza suit is lined with foil. Oh, yeah. Ah. You're wearing a foil lined pizza costume, and I'm no gomer. What is a gomer? Moron. Gomer pile, possibly? I don't know. Look it up. <laughs> Be useful, damn it. How many morons have you recruited so far? I got quite a few of the town folk on board now. We got the Pigeon Sisters, George the Postman, Carney Joe, DJ Cassie. We're growing, but we still gotta keep it on the down low. I can't have the sheriff getting suspicious and trying to shut us down. Good thing there ain't anything suspicious about you. Hmm. <laughs> I think I left my hot plate on. Gotta run. What a waste of time. Don't forget to take a goodie bag. I think they just made it up as an insult. <laughs> Unless he's referring to you as one of the Gomers in American Rock Band. We're starting the meeting now. Please. Gather around. I just want the damn goodie bag. Hello all, thank you for coming to this very important this informational meeting. meeting. I'm Brett Lockdown, and that's my brother Chet guarding the elevator. Wow. <laughs> Hiya. First I have to ask, any pets here? No way. <laughs> Alright then, let's begin. Never mind, like, the have post you guy. Heard the signals? The right. government is controlling your mind. They are taking away your free choice. We are becoming mindless sheep with no control over our destiny. Fight back. Are you with us? Yeah. No. Squawk. Yes, I'm with you. Yeah. That's all for now. Stay vigilant. <laughs> and don't forget to take a good <laughs> bag before you leave. Hey. Squeal. No shoving. Hey. No pushing. Hey. Ow. Hey! Eek! No pushing! Ow! What the hell? 
They said take three goodie bags, right? I already got one. I don't care. Aww. I already got one. Don't care. It's pretty heavy. Uh, it's a brick wrapped in aluminum foil. <laughs> oh, it's a disc. Looks like a strange floppy disc. It says Silbury Hacker Boot Disc on the label. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew there had to be something. It's pretty heavy. Uh, it's a brick wrapped in aluminum foil. Wait a second. Is that explosives? <laughs> A brick what? wrap? Wouldn't that be like C4? No. <laughs> it's just a. I mean, you sure? Could theoretically, be, but it's just. I think it's just a brick. Hard to unwrap. In full. No, it's. <laughs> oh no, it's C4. <laughs> Never mind. It's a brick of C4 explosive. <laughs> Better be very careful with this. It's a sheet of aluminum foil. Oh, you can't use it on yourself. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back to the factory before I blow something up. So, what, what are you going to do with this? Oh. Oh, shoot. Where's Dolores? Get back here. <laughs> do the factory with you. You take explosives it for kid. a while. No, not quite. But the disc will suffice. Yay! It's booting up. Dolores, I feared you would come. Uncle Chuck? Where are you? I have uploaded myself into the Pillow Factory's master computer. Pillowtron? Oh. You uploaded yourself to Pillowtron? Not just the Pillowtron, but the Pillowtron 3000. Oh. And I am now more intelligent and powerful than anyone in the world. The things I know would blow your mind. This is your mind. <laughs> this is your mind blown. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. The computerized oh world my. will bend to my every will. Uncle Chuck, you have lost your mind. No, Dolores, I have gained a mind, a more powerful mind, a mind linked to the fabric of creation. Join me, Dolores, before it's too late. Dying I will not you join you, Uncle <laughs> Chuck. I will find you and stop this insane plan of yours. <laughs> Let the games begin. You have to go deeper. I don't have enough. I don't have uh, enough dust hey, yet. Nick, Nick, Nick. That's your password. What is it? The one that doesn't actually say anything. Ah. Uh. Oh, whoops. It's a draw. What a surprise. Yeah. Computers are very, very good at tic tac toe. <laughs> Check the directory. What do we got here? I want to go to the tubes. Oh, That's where the internet is. That's the status. Ooh, laser hall. Ooh, it's cool. <laughs> All right, I have a feeling. Seems important. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on. Uh... Where's my uh, where's my book? <laughs> where's my red glasses, damn it? <laughs> I can't see a thing without my glasses. 
Well, that is actually literally true. I mean, ugh. couldn't find them the other morning. Must find. find. <laughs> Go ahead and look around a bit. Always a good thing to do. Look! Nuff. The dim light is to the west. Perhaps I should go west. For a large cave. Oh, you're dead. Nope. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> really gives you something to think about. I'm gonna try again, actually. I, I, I have wonder. A here that will help us. Do I have. Who has that? Damn it, who has that book? Does Ransom have it? Yeah. I wonder if I actually have to, like, decode it here for it to work in game. Like, if it's gonna give me, like, a, like a quest flag or something for doing that. And I remember where the, uh, the decoder is because we picked it up during the flashback. Oh, okay. So we actually the have the old decoder. Edmund Mansion Mansion. I'm not welcome here. Better ring the doorbell. We tell you, your knife helps you here. I'm good at digging. <laughs> Maybe I should hawk a muckle rook for you and put you in it. Oh yeah? Well, f you. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll send Dolores. Diggin. Hi, Doug. No, oh, I didn't want to talk to him. All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway, mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. <sighs> Ta, Dolores! I'm not sure I kind of get that, but whatever. But yeah, we actually picked this up during the, uh, during the flashback. Ah. It's a red gel decoder. Or maybe if we didn't pick it up, we at least saw it. And I've been sitting here screwing around with levels. <laughs> I have it decoded, by the way. Alright, you need to get back to the factory. Here! You're not carrying enough! <laughs> no, clearly not. Aha. Uh -huh. You wanna head west? Look yep. around. Head west again. Fizz gum will hard crash the game. I'm sure that won't be important in any way. No no no, no not at all. Go east to instantly die. <laughs> well, clearly there's nothing any here. Nothing. Around. No. Clinging around light. never helps. What? Go to the light. Oh. Examine the paintings. <laughs> this is scum. Yeah, say, let's... 
Yeah. Oh, it halted the truck store. <laughs> You're not doing this without me. I want to be here too, please. For some reason. Well, now we're all stuck in here. I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're screwed. Fools! You are trapped oh. in the factory with no possible escape. Can you My break out the now window? Spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. Shall we take a vote? All in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron 3000 TM and ruling the world with him say, I. Very well. <laughs> All in favor of being crushed by Aww. robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals say, I. 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 Abstain. So be it. <laughs> Let no one say I don't support a strong democracy and the will of the people. <laughs> You will now all die. Oh, you're giving it away. Hmm. Well, there's another game. The computer here. is in the middle of rebooting. A blast door. It's eh? a foolproof electronic locking mechanism. You know, I wonder. Actually, you better want to get inside. <laughs> oh. You know, I have something oh, I that might take care of this. Yeah, that does seem to be, uh... I mean, it's foolproof, but not C4-proof. How do I blow it up, though? It yeah, how do I set it off? Hmm. I must have something to set that off. Yeah, now I gotta... I gotta do something with that, obviously. I, th I think... Oh! The ghost has I... to zap it. No, 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 no. It's the official Ransom the Cloud candy barfer. It's supposed uh -oh. to dispense one piece of candy each time you use it, but it emits deadly sparks instead! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. I knew there was something weird. Oh dear. <laughs> That's a smart plan. <laughs> it's blow! It's the wrong ear. <laughs> so you might want to cover the. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, whatever works. I guess. Ooh, certain death. Dak! Dak! <laughs> What is he clucking for? Come on. Back. Clever. You crashed my computer. Five, four, three, two, one. Emergency reboot. Help me! Please! Help me! Don't push the button. There is no way! <laughs> Then. <laughs> you will never get past my searing lasers of doom. You are doomed! Hold on, hold on, wait a sec. I want to turn down the volume so you can hear my maniacal rant. <laughs> I just piped the sound in so it feels scarier. Lasers are actually as silent as a baby's bottom. Anyway, you are doomed! <laughs> you will never get past <laughs> my searing lasers of death. TM. You pesky kids will never thwart my plan. Help me, please, help me. Hmm. I wonder if I should be I moving them all. Reboot. You are all doomed against the AI again. power of pillow. What's up? I think he has to reboot the computer again. Well, let me take them all down here. Because I'm assuming the green light means there that it's is rebooting. There's no way to get past my laser. I mean, I don't know if I need to be down here like everybody like that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm not going to turn them on again. <laughs> there is no way to get past my laser. And Dolores. 
Why are you sending Dolores down there? She has well, because everybody else here. is down there. My evil lasers are too powerful for you! But who's, who's gonna use the computer You now? will never defeat me! You will never defeat me! My evil lasers are too- Here, take this. I'm tired of carrying it. There is no Can way to get past my lasers of death, DM. Let's just walk past him. You Cause, will cause never defeat me! Lasers don't me. make sound and lasers also don't hurt. Help me! Ow! You were saying? Uh, my evil lasers are too powerful for you! Help me! I can't pull that. I'm feeling this has got to do something My here. My evil lasers are too powerful for you! I can't open that. I that really doesn't seem to close. To reboot the you are all again. doomed against the AI power of so. Pelotron 3000, TM. You will never defeat me. Or maybe just Ransom's hair will absorb the help lasers. Help me, please, help me. Oh no, no. Oh, he's got a hat. You will never defeat me. Thanks a lot. There is no way to get past my lasers uh. of death, TM. <laughs> there is no way to get past Oops. my lasers of death, TM. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Comes right off. <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. No fair. <laughs> I filed this as a bug report. Take that. Ha! Counts right off. Didn't feel a thing. You just wait for the lasers of doom, TM. 2.0. Counts right off. Counts right off. EA. Didn't feel a thing. You just wait for the lasers of doom, TM. 2.0. EA. EA. <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. You just wait for the lasers of doom, TM. 2.0. <laughs> Counts right off. <laughs> the last you one. You just... One, one more for good measure. Huh. It's spinning pretty fast. No way past it. Is there a phone somewhere? Was there one in the office? Or no fair. The cell uh -huh. phone has no reception. The cell phone has no reception. Hmm. Well, it's not that then. I don't understand computers. I can't get out. It's locked. Yep. Oh. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. I wonder if that's a subtle hint. You just wait for the lasers of doom, TM. 2.0! Hmm. You just wait for the lasers of doom, TM. 2.0! Didn't feel a thing! Counts right off! Didn't feel a thing! Uh. Didn't feel a thing! No fair! Ha! Counts right off! Take that! Didn't feel a thing! You just wait for the lasers of doom, TM. 2.0! No, get over here. I filed this as Let's crash. Oh, I can't do that. Ooh. Do anything with that painting. I doubt the painting has anything to do with it. 
I think I just well, need to hand also, this off. There's also a panel on the floor, too. You uh, just wait for nothing the lasers of came Doom, TM 2.0! Excuse me. I filed this as a bug report. No fair. You're cheating. There's a speck of dust right Bounce right off. No oh, well. fair. <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. I filed this as a bug report. Take that. Take that. Bounce right off. You just wait for the lasers of doom, TM 2.0. Take that. doesn't seem to fit that. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. It doesn't seem... Hmm. How do you have... You just wait for the to... lasers of doom, TM. 2.0! Say what? Do you have signal right here? Like, try using the cell phone. The cell phone has no reception. No. You know what, though? There's somebody who's outside. Oh. Hang on. Three, seven, oh, five. Wait. Remember that number. Hey, give me a second. This one. Hey. Got it. Feeling we are almost done, or maybe, or maybe not. I don't Perhaps. know. There's I like hope. another four chapters where we don't know about. <laughs> I hope not. It's a phone. Use the phone. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number three seven five three two. Current state of the fan is on. Turning fan off in three, two, one. Current state New of the year. fan Happy is New year. off. <laughs> I think I can sque I think I can squeeze past the fan now. So do it. Shump, 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 shump. Overheating oh, no. won't hurt me. Overheating won't hurt me. <laughs> That's a really big computer. Or something. I am impossible to touch while superheated. It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. I am impossible to touch. It's too hot to touch. You get to turn the fan back on. I am impossible to touch while super... It's a phone. Use the phone. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is off. Turning fan on in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is on. Overheating won't hurt me. Bring it on. I can take the heat. Can you? I don't care how much money they were going to pay me. I'm not going in there. I don't care how much money they were going to pay me. I'm not going in there. Lovely. I am one with Pillowtron 3000 TM. Just the. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Yep. Dink. All right, so I have a feeling it's got to be Dolores. No, not. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful uh, than you can possibly imagine. Uh. <laughs> Dolores, you are making a big mistake. What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillowtron 3000, TM. Together we are now invincible. You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a... to be a game designer. You've been corrupted by bad tube technology. 
I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck. Or what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores! <laughs> Lock the door! <laughs> oh my god. Death is all that oh, awaits no. you now! No, they, no, they're not gonna do this, are they? What? Death is all oh, that is awaits this like, you uh. Now. gonna be like, uh. 2001? You will He's never gonna start defeat singing me. Daisy. Death is all that awaits you now! You can't defeat me, Dolores! <laughs> you These extra-large PT-109 tubes are what makes Pillowtron 3000 function. Dolores, shutting me down will only make me stronger! You, you will never defeat me! You should help me, Dolores! Daisy... <laughs> yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. You should have listened to me. Let's keep going. I am save me, Dolores. You found all the clues save I left. Save me, save me. <laughs> I knew you would figure it. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. I knew you would save me. Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. Insane. You tried to kill us. Why should I save you? Because I discovered something you'll want to know about. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay, one, you lock me in here and I can't get a chair. And two, how can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point. This is a but good it's question. going to get crazier. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. AI. Ah. Uh, aardvark <laughs> insemination? No! Artificial intelligence. I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to lighten the mood. As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Nice. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. Was this after the factory burned down? They burned down the factory as a warning, forcing me to rebuild it in secret and pin the blame on the security guard. Couldn't you just shut off the Tron machines? It wasn't that easy. They had become more powerful and taken control. I was also addicted to the power they gave me. I'm not convinced you're not crazy and insane. I know how it must sound, Dolores. Everything I learned slowly drove me crazy. Let's is, move on, Uncle Chuck. You're not wrong. Okay, <laughs> this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text adventure. Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. <laughs> <laughs> downloaded? <laughs> you mean it was purchased online? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Pirates wouldn't have bought it anyway. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? The more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. But worse than a simulation, we are all just characters in a oh, video game. Why do we have to go meta again? That's wild! Think about it, Dolores. Totally Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Have you ever spoken about her or even thought about her? No. No, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. <laughs> like there's only walls. one house in the whole town? Exactly! Where does everyone live? We have only one house in a town of 80 people. Like everyone fourth walls about adventure games? Everyone asks a lot of questions about adventure games and adventure game design, don't they? <laughs> well, adventure games are cool. Who wouldn't want to talk about them? Yeah, okay, valid point. 
<laughs> like we go around collecting specks of dust? That's not dust you're collecting. They are pixels, the building blocks of our world. They are put there to prey on the compulsive among those in the upper world. Guilty as charged. Like the sheriff and the coroner are the same actor? Exactly! Probably saves money on voice acting talent and art and animation. Like the highway ends out by the bridge? Ever walked out there? Ever wanted to walk out there? You don't have the desire because it wasn't programmed into you. It's not part of the game. Like there being no school in Thimbleweed Park? And only one kid in the whole town. Do you remember going to school? Having any friends? No, I don't. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes, there are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. Spooky. <laughs> like next to the bus station is an unfinished screen? There are whole areas of this town that are unfinished, and you conveniently say, I can't go there. Why can't you go there? Do we ever think about it? <laughs> I've heard enough. I want to go the way through I this believe challenge. you, Uncle Chuck. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. We have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. If they do that, developers. we're caught back in our developers. endless cycle of pointless developers. pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillotron 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's the only way we'll truly be free. Delete the world and end our existence? Yes, it's the only way. The developers keep rebooting us back into the same story over and over. They will do anything to keep us from deleting the game. Thimbleweed Park is a cash cow. They can't let it end. <laughs> but I am shutting down Pillowtron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. <laughs> the developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. Let's do this thing. <laughs> We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind-blowing. What the f It's all fake, like my ex-wife <laughs> I know none of this is real now, but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the f limelight. I've hidden away four inventory items that will fulfill your endings. Take them and you'll be free! Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hope of keeping it from you. The only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. I'm going deeper into the simulation now so they can't find me. Good luck. And hurry! I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, Ransom. Ah, Fred. The deleting. Well, I think we need to save this for next time. I was gonna have to splice a friggin' YouTube video into this. Yeah, we might have to. <laughs> but yeah, uh, join us next time when we finally finish this. When we realize that this entire time, all this has been a game. <laughs> Several games, actually, from what I recall. Yes. We've done quite a few of them. <laughs> That's kind of the whole point, you know? Yes, indeed. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. <laughs>